Hollywood writers are not happy with Bob Iger and his recent comments that he made in a CNBC interview discussing the um, current writer strike and now the ongoing actors strike. He says here that uh, this headline in Variety that the actors and writers are not being realistic with their expectations. And he says it's very disturbing to him. In response to this, we have Cody Ziegler. He is a writer for the She-Hulk attorney at law. Uh, television series on Disney Plus. Uh, interestingly enough, this is what he had to say. He revealed how much he got paid for uh, his episode of She Hulk Attorney Law. So he is credited as a staff writer on all um, of the episodes for She Hulk Attorney Law, but he specifically has a written by credit for the penultimate episode, the one featuring Daredevil. But this is what he says. He says the, resi the residual check from my episode of She Hulk Attorney Law was $396. So it's really interesting to see. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't give us any more information. It would have been nice to know uh, what that actually entails. Is it based on number of views? Is it based on potential people maybe subscribing to Disney Plus? And then the first thing they watch is She-Hulk Attorney at Law or something like that. And we don't get any of that information. Uh, but $396. Um, but then you can see here, this is uh, Cody Ziegler. This is his profile here on IMDb. And then if we click here on the nine episodes, you can see staff writer on uh, eight of, uh, or actually on all nine of the episodes. And then here you see season one, episode eight, uh, Ribbit and Rip It. He, what, he has a written by credit. And that is what he's saying is the $396 residual is coming from. So um, that is what he is getting paid in a residual for She-Hulk attorney at law. Honestly, it should be a lot lower that show because that show is absolutely disgraceful, terrible, uh, and honestly, the show never should have been made. So she probably shouldn't even gotten paid for that. But it is interesting to see that these people are getting paid almost nothing for these Disney Plus shows on the back end.